happening tonight, a total lunar eclipse that you can see. While it may not be as captivating as a total solar eclipse, you'll still see quite a show when you look up into the night sky. The best time you can see from this to catch it overnight is between 2.26 and 3.31 a.m. That's right, overnight. So CNN correspondent Mary Bell Gonzalez joining us now live from the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. Mary Bell, thanks for being here. This is supposed to last about an hour. What will people see tonight and what do we need? Anything special to see when we look up? Yeah, Angela, it will be pretty late in your t during your time, but experts say it's definitely worth staying up and watching or getting up early to do so. Now, this rare event happens when the moon passes through the darkest part of Earth's shadow. It's pretty rare. It only happens every about once, one or two years. And this year, everyone here in the western part of the world will be able to see it firsthand. Now, you mentioned any special equipment needed? Not at all. And that is the difference between this lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse whereas in a solar eclipse you might need those glasses and to take special care you can't look directly into the sun that is not the case tonight you don't need any special equipment any special glasses you can watch it right from your the outside of your home that's so cool so while you guys in los angeles just have to stay up late we'll have to set our alarms to make sure that we wake up in the middle of the night but mary Bell, the last time there was a total lunar eclipse was november of 2022 so if we miss it tonight <laughs> like if i snooze my alarm and sleep through it when's the next one Yeah, so the next one will be September 7th or 8th, between those times. Uh, but that will only happen, uh, will only be visible, I should say, in the eastern part of the world. So think Asia, Africa, Australia. So unless you're planning on traveling during those dates, uh, <laughs> then it's best to catch it tonight because it's a pretty cool sight. In its totality, it will look almost like a blood orange moon, uh, but you, you should be able to catch it. And if you don't want to stay up or get up early, as in your case, uh, you can watch it on the Griffith Observatory's YouTube page. They'll have like a sped up version of it because as we know, it takes some time. It'll be a gradual lunar event. Still very awesome to have that happen. Thank you so much, Mary Bell Gonzalez, joining us live from Los Angeles. All right, let's turn our attention to Michael, our resident scientist here as we talk about this. I mean, you know, people are just so excited when we had the total solar eclipse yeah. and now we've got this going on. Pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, it was about this time last year, maybe a little bit further into the year, but yeah. we're about a year out from the solar eclipse. Now we got a total lunar eclipse. And this one, like I said, you don't need anything special to see it. I know you're like a night owl, so you don't have to set your <laughs> alarm. You might need to just call me and be like, get out of bed and I, look up. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be long removed from leaving work. Yeah. I mean, after the 11 o'clock show tonight, just head outside, watch the eclipse start to take place. Is it going to be really big, like huge? Like, you know, sometimes when the moon is so close to us, it yeah. looks huge. I mean, this won't be like those giant moons that you see right. when the, the moon starts to come up. This is going to be like your standard size moon, but it will turn very vividly red mm. and you'll be able to see that eclipse making its way across the lunar surface and it's just really enjoyable and really easy to get some great photos. I've seen a couple of them. Right. Well, we might be tired then tomorrow morning, but let's get <laughs> us through the forecast too as well. Yeah, and speaking of the eclipse tonight with that forecast, here's where things start out. You start to see that eclipse begin at 109. We see total lunar eclipse by 226 of that beautiful red color. And then we start to have the eclipse come to an end by 3, 4 in the morning.